about quarter to three Still so high Hypnotized in a trance From the spotty soap But a rip brown And tantalizing You would have thought I needed help From this feeling that I felt So shook I had to catch my breath Oops, there goes my shirt up over my Shanta and I'm back with another lock tutorial, huh? lock hairstyle tutorial. Um, so today I'm going to demonstrate uh, the basket weave, which is very nice um, accent to your hair, makes it look like you know you're doing something a little bit different than just a plain ponytail. Um, you can also turn the basket weave into a kind of updo. Um, I haven't done the updo basket weave in a while, um, but when my locks were shorter, I would do the basket. I would do the basket weave up, and so my hair would be, you know, going up this way, and then I would just kind of like flat twist the front, and then kind of tuck the, you know, make little rolls to roll the um, the uh, loose hair around. But um, maybe what I'll do is. I will uh, curl my locks and demonstrate how a basket weave updo uh, will look. Um, so that's something else to put on the uh, agenda as far as my lock hairstyle. So let's get started. Um, basket weave is basically a crisscross. And um, how I usually like to start it is in the middle. Now this is a little difficult for me because my hairline is funky, but um, it still works out. So you take the two next to each other, you cross them, then you go to the next side. And I don't want to take that one. So you gotta kinda, here we go. And you cross them and be careful not to pick up the same hair um, again. And you take the one next to that, and nope. See, that's the thing about this hairstyle. You gotta try to figure out which one you want to take. Okay, there we go. And then look, trying to look in the camera and look in the mirror doesn't help. Um, but this is mainly just to give you guys the idea of how to do it. So you take the next one and cross it. Be careful not to pick up the hair that you've crossed. Okay, and when I get the base started good, so about, you know, three, that's uh, three crosses that I've done there. Once you get the base started good, then you can start picking up more hair. Um, so I'll grab a couple. Oops, see, there you go. That's one of my base ones. So you got to make sure you kind of keep those separated with your finger of sorts. So pick up a couple cross it over, pick up a couple, cross them over, there's my little baby here, I'll tuck it in, okay we'll talk later, um, pick up from here, cross it over, pick up some more hair, Cross over, pick up all the hair from the sides, cross over, cross it over. <laughs> Y'all tired of me saying cross it over? <laughs> I'm still a little hoarse, as you can hear. So I haven't really done, um, Another makeup tutorial because um, I wanted to kind of talk in my next one to see how that goes. But maybe tomorrow. I really wasn't in a makeup mood today. The only thing I did today was go see about my truck, change tires, and get work done. So I really wasn't in the mood to be cute <laughs> being outside. 
Um, so I'll continue to cross over. And now we've kind of gotten to the point where, okay, that's that side. And I'll probably take a few more pieces from this side. Okay, so you should see. So I have the two ends that have been crossed over and then like this. And I'll take them and I will tie them in the back to secure the whole thing. Then I tuck the tied ends in. And now I'll find a place for my little baby here. And it wants to be resistant today, which is cool. They're locks for a reason, right? Okay, so there you have it. The basket weave. And I'll turn back around. So there's another look here for you guys. Um, you could probably take so a scarf and tied around here um probably put a piece of jewelry right here um as an accent um yeah hope you guys like it if you have any uh styles you would like for me to try um you know let me know um uh, send me a comment send me a message visit my blog you know um Thanks to uh, hey, this is the Jessica Leah, who gave me my first video response uh, to my updo with no pens. And uh, you said my name correctly. Um, it is Shanta. It's just regular Sean with a TA on the end. So you did it absolutely right. And um, so that was very cute. And I'm very happy that, um, that you know, my little videos are helping or giving people ideas or inspiration because I know how that goes once they get to a certain point you know you just get into a rut of just having them one way all the time and don't ever do anything with them and then before you know it that length is gone and then some things that you may have wanted to try becomes a little more difficult when uh, the hair gets longer um, so just trying to give you ladies and your gentlemen because it's a gentleman friendly hair too um, you know, just some ideas to, you know, spice it up a little bit. So, I'll be back soon. Peace.